unit three is there is an oven in the kitchen. There is an oven in the kitchen. This is lesson four, English one. For the next hour, we're going to do, well, 25 minutes in our case. We're going to do pages 20 to 24 and 27 in the book. Let's get started. Coffee table. Coffee table. That's the table you put in front of a sofa or chairs in your living room. Sofa. Sofa. That's the same word in Korean. Television. Television. We also call that a TV. Cupboard. Cupboard. Now the P and the B sound, when you put them together, it sounds just like the, a little P and then a B. Cupboard. That's the green thing at the top that's in, in the kitchen. It's where you put your dishes and things like that. Nightstand. Nightstand. It's a small table that goes next to your bed. Mirror. Mirror. It's what you look at when you're combing your hair or doing something so you can see yourself. Bed. Bed. It's where you lay down and you sleep at night. Dresser. Dresser. It's where you put your clothes. Alarm clock. Alarm clock. An alarm clock goes off in the morning telling you that it's time to get up. Lamp. Lamp. A lamp sheds light on your stuff. Okay, now here are the parts of a kitchen. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. This is the thing in your kitchen where you put your food and it keeps it cold. The freezer. Freezer is a part of the refrigerator that keeps things very, very cold. Microwave. Microwave. A microwave oven cooks the food very quickly. Popcorn usually takes about three minutes. Stove. Stove. The stove is where you cook things on a gas or electric range in pots and pans. Dinner table. Dinner table. This is where you sit down to eat. Rug. Rug. This is something you roll out and you walk on it. Rug. Armchair. Armchair. An armchair is what you sit in. You sit in your armchair and uh, relax and read. Towel rack. Towel rack. A towel rack is something that you use to hang your towels on in the bathroom or the shower. Toilet. Toilet. You sit on the toilet when you use the bathroom. Bathtub. Bathtub. In Korea, you don't have bathtubs that often. You sit or lay in them when you take a bath. Toothbrush toothbrush. This is what you use to brush your teeth. Toothpaste is the blue stuff on top of this toothbrush that you use to clean your teeth. Kitchen. Kitchen. It's where you cook your food. Living room. Living room. Den. Den. Living room or den is where you go to sit down, relax, watch TV, play video games. This is the relaxing part of your house. Bedroom. Bedroom. A bedroom has a bed and it's where you sleep at night. Bedroom. Bathroom. Bathroom. The bathroom is where there's usually a toilet, a sink to wash your hands, a tub or shower. And usually cabinets to put your stuff. Home office. Home office. A lot of people work in their home. And 
they they do this in a home office which is usually a table or desk somewhere in their house game room game room basement basement in some parts of the world you are able to dig into the ground and you can have a basement in your in your house a basement is underground and in many countries like the US uh, this is used as a game room or a or even a small apartment down there okay so now you're going to match the items with the rooms that they're where they're usually found you're going to do this you're going to stop the uh, recording now put it, me on pause and you're going to draw a line from the thing to where it is look which room is it in where it is located i'm going to speak the words and you go ahead and repeat them and then you're going to put me on pause and draw a line to the room where they're located coffee table coffee table sofa sofa television television cupboard cupboard, nightstand, nightstand, mirror, mirror, bed, bed, refrigerator, refrigerator, dinner table, dinner table, microwave, microwave, toilet, toilet, dresser, dresser, alarm clock, alarm clock, armchair, armchair, stove, stove, toothbrush, toothbrush, rug, rug, bathtub, bathtub. The TH sound in bathtub, you stick your tongue in between your teeth. Bathtub. Towel rack towel rack lamp lamp okay match the items with the rooms where they're usually found here are the different places where they are found okay party party usually have a party because someone has graduated because someone got married there is a wide variety of reasons why you would do that. Cake. Cake. Usually have a, a cake at a party, and this is to celebrate something, like a birthday. The candles are on the cake. We burn candles for birthdays. Snacks. Snacks. These are things that you could eat pretty quickly. Um, snacks are usually given. Um, in between lunch and dinner because people are often have a long time in between drinks 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 are what you or liquids you put in your mouth they can be very thick liquids like these smoothies here these are fruit smoothies cup cup the most common cup we see are coffee cups we use that to drink our coffee and hot chocolate and tea sink sink this is where you wash your hands everyone should be washing their hands for at least 20 seconds right pictures pictures these are pictures of people places or things you have in frames in your house plate plate a plate is uh, where you put your food a bowl is a round object that holds food like soup. Listen to the dialogue. Listen and re repeat. First listen all the way through, and then listen and repeat. Are we ready for the party? I think so. There's a cake in the refrigerator. Where are the snacks and drinks? They're in the kitchen. Are there any cups? Yes, there are cups next to 
the sink. Okay. Listen and repeat. Uh, to Greg and Kelly talking about the party. Are we ready for the party? I think so. There is a cake in the refrigerator. Where are the snacks and drinks? They're in the kitchen. Are there any cups? Yes, there are cups next to the sink. Okay, listen and repeat one more time. If there's a word you don't understand, look it up in Papago or in a, another dictionary program on your cell phone and write the Korean on top. Listen and repeat one more time. Are we ready for the party? I think so. There's a cake in the refrigerator. Where are the snacks and drinks? They're in the kitchen. Are there any cups? Yes, there are cups next to the sink. Meaning chunk. There be plus noun plus preposition of place. Okay. We're using there is or there are. We're using present tense. When there you have a question, you put are in the beginning. Are there. A, a noun is the thing like cake or cups. A preposition of place is something like in, next to, on. So it's in the refrigerator, it's next to the sink. Any is used with something when you, you don't know if you have them or you don't have them. Are there any cups? Okay, let's look at our grammar focus. This is definitely on the test. There is an R in the prepositions of place. Listen first and then repeat after me. There is a mirror in the bathroom. Okay, repeat. There is a mirror in the bathroom. Listen first. There are pictures on the wall. Repeat after me. There are pictures on the wall. Listen to the questions box. A statement is, this is what is true. There is a mirror in the bathroom. There are pictures on the wall. A question is, you don't know the answer. You're trying to gather information. Okay. Questions. Is there a microwave in the kitchen? Are there any plates next to the stove? Here are our answers. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. That's with one thing. Let's do this again. Is there a microwave? A microwave means there's one of them in the kitchen. So we're using is. Yes, there is or no, there isn't. Listen and repeat. Is there a microwave in the kitchen? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Listen and repeat. Are there any plates next to the stove? One more time. Are there any plates next to the stove? Let's look at your answers. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Using are. Plates. P-L-A-T-E-S. That S means there's more than one of them. So we're using are. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Here are our prepositions of place. The question is, where is or are something? Okay. Where is it? In, you see in the box. On is on top. Under means it's, it's underneath. Next to. In front of. Behind. Above. And between. First, write the Korean under here so that you know which is which. 
and then you're going to have to memorize them for the test. Okay. Let's go over them again. Listen and repeat. In. In. On. On. Under. Under. Next to. Next to. In front of. In front of. Behind, behind, above, above, between, between. Then practice your sentences. Where is it? It's in the box. The white cube up there is a box, okay? Where is it? It's in the box. It's on the box. It's under the box. It's next to the box. It's in front of the box. It's behind the box. It's above the box. It's between the box. Between the boxes. It's between the boxes. There are two boxes there. Okay. Now we're going to talk about things. Okay. Handbag is a purse or something you use to carry your stuff. Women carry a handbag. They can also put it over their shoulders. Okay. Linda's handbag. Listen and repeat. Pens. Pens. A wallet. A wallet. A lip balm. A lip balm. A mirror, a mirror, tissues, tissues. Now let's go over the question at the top. What's in Linda's handbag? Listen and repeat. What's in Linda's handbag? What's in Linda's handbag? Okay, there are pens. There are pens. There is a wallet. There is a wallet. There is a lip balm. There is a lip balm. There is a mirror. There is a mirror. There are tissues. There are tissues. Okay, so with A, A lip balm, you know there's only one of them. But there, when the S on the end, like with pens and tissues, use there are. Now let's see what's in Julia's handbag. Listen and repeat. A comb. A comb. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Earphones. Earphones. Hairpins. Hairpins. A cell phone. A cell phone. What's in Julia's handbag? What's in Julia's handbag? There is a comb. There is a comb. There are sunglasses. There are sunglasses. There are earphones. There are earphones. There are hairpins. There are hairpins. There is a cell phone. There is a cell phone. Once again, sunglasses and earphones and hairpins all have an S, so there's more than one of them. A comb, a cell phone means there's only one. So is, you use a comb. There are, you use sunglasses. Around the house, page 22. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. A dishwasher is where you wash your dishes. Um, this is a machine that does this. Coffee maker. Coffee maker. It's a machine that makes your coffee for you. Shower. Shower. It's where you water sprays on your body and you take a shower. Towels. Towels. These are uh, the warm things you use to uh, wipe down your body after a shower. Curtains. Curtains. These are hanging in the window to block the light or let the light in. Pillows. Pillows. 
you usually sleep with the pillow behind your head. Fork. Fork. Knife. Knife. The F has a f sound and the E you can't hear. It's called a silent E. The K is also silent. So it sounds like knife. Knife. Spoon. Spoon. Okay. This is, you're looking around a furnished apartment. Furnished apartment means if the furniture is already there. This table shows the items in each room has or doesn't have. Okay, so an O means, uh, a circle means there is, uh, that, that this thing exists in the room. An X means there is not, there isn't one. Okay, let's look at our words here. Okay. Listen and repeat. Is there a refrigerator in the kitchen? Yes, there is. Are there any windows in the bathroom? No, there aren't. Okay, this person is looking for an apartment and is asking what the, is in the apartment. Okay, now we're going to do this with the living room. We're going to do the living room now. Okay, are there armchairs? in the living room yes there are are there lamps in the living room no there aren't is there a coffee table in the living room no there isn't remember a there's one of them there's an s there's more than one and you're using r okay let's look at our kitchen is there a dishwasher no, there isn't. Are there forks? Yes, there are. Is there a coffee maker? Yes, there is. Are there any mirrors in the bathroom? Yes. Sorry, no, they, they're, they aren't. No, there aren't. Let's do that one more time. <laughs> are there mirrors in the bathroom? No, there aren't. Is there a shower in the bathroom? Yes, there is. Is are there any towels in the bathroom? No, there aren't. Let's look at the bedroom. Is there a dresser in the bedroom? Yes, there is. Are there curtains in the bedroom? Yes, there are. Are there any curtains in the bedroom? Yes, there are. Are there any pillows in the bedroom? No, there, there aren't. Okay. So go through, put this on pause, and practice going through all of these. Be sure you understand this. And you're talking a coffee table. Is there a? Okay. Now, if there's more than one, there's an S like forks. Are there any forks? Okay, so practice this, go through all of this. Go back through and practice everything you have just studied, including all of the vocabulary words. Practice saying them again. Make sure you understand the vocabulary, what's in the, hand, the, the handbag, and what, what's in. Okay, what is in, what's in, okay? Memorize your prepositions of place that will definitely be on the test. Go through your grammar focus. Make sure you understand how to make the statements. And understand that with the questions, the verb goes to the front. Instead of there is, it becomes is there. Instead of there are, you ask are there. So the verb moves to the front. Be very careful with that. Your answers are simple. Yes, there is, and no, there isn't. Yes, there are, no, there aren't. Go back through. Be sure you understand the vocabulary and be practice the, this dialogue one more time. Be sure that you understand it. Okay. Thank you very much for learning with me. We're going to cover the rest of the chapter in the next lesson. Have a wonderful day. And stay safe. Remember to wash your hands.
for at least 20 seconds in the sink. Is there a sink in your bathroom? I hope there is. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.